gotta have the dark kind of go like sort of round. This up here is really having fun running. I'll fix it. down in there. I'm going to look at it with a mirror and see what I got. That's not bad. Okay, now I'm looking at it and I have a, a large shape and then this is kind of a medium shape. And that's kind of a medium also, but I'd say that was a smaller shape. Um, I, I like the texture. Uh, however, I think um, when it dries really complete, um, I could glaze some of it darker if I felt it needed. But you know, this is a time when you look at it and you study it and you say to yourself, would somebody like that? Um, but who cares? Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Um, I also want to uh, tell you I have a lot of my work in uh, eBay and it's uh, watercolor mostly and um, it's very reasonable price. Uh, I wish that you'd look me up on it and, and make some bids because you know you could get a painting, a Milligan painting for thirty to thirty five dollars um, unframed of course but you can buy it you can just Put it in a frame that you can buy at a store because standard size, and you could have one in your home to kind of remember me by, I guess. But I do appreciate my audience and all that you do for me. Um, okay, I put this in a frame. Um, the size I, I measured was 26 by 20 and uh, right now I have it uh, uh, sort of a, a makeshift frame because <laughs> it doesn't fit quite that size. But anyway, uh, as I look at it, um, I think it's kind of nice, it's, the, the colors are nice and and some of the textures are, are good. Uh, let me see if I can get closer. You see, you can get closer. Maybe a little closer yet. See the texture of that? It's really fascinating to put on. And uh, I really enjoyed this uh, painting. Um, I didn't know what it was coming out to be, but it's very colorful and um, I could possibly, um, if I could teach it, I would probably say it's got to have a little bit more darks. Maybe uh, in the area of the upper uh, left, right hand side could be a little darker. All you have to do is take a darker paint and glaze it carefully, like I showed you. And I think um, I probably won't touch it, I'll just leave it. Because you know, I'm very prone to overwork. And so that's why I just said, I'm leaving this. And it's abstract, it's not a, it's sort of impressionistic, more than abstract. It's just kind of an impression of a, of a garden, maybe. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this um, 
lesson today. And uh, uh, please um, tune in for the next part. Um, I have more videos for you, so just keep watching for me. And thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. If you'll also leave some comments, I really love that. So thank you very much. So if you would uh, look me up, uh, it would make me happy too. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And I'm so happy to be able to do this. And at my age, at 93, that I can come out into my studio and set up my easel, set up my camera, and take it and put it on the internet and edit it and do everything that has to be done and then I put it on YouTube for you to see. And that's quite an amazing thing, I think, at my age. And I know that God has blessed me mightily and so I'm trying to bless you back. Thank you very much. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think I could use more dark in there. I have to wait till it dries. <laughs>